Hi guys, welcome back. So the Age of Empires 2 Return of Rome DLC is about to be launched. It's actually coming tomorrow as of uh, recording this video. Um, so thanks to World's Edge for providing me with a key so that I can bring you some build orders for the new DLC. So we're looking at um, an Axeman rush for Age of Empires 1 in this particular video. I've got four build orders for Age of Empires 1, all of the Tall Age rushes and uh, i've also got a, a romans uh, scout rush coming for age of empires 2 so do keep your eye out for that one but with this one we'll dive in let's have a little look so we're going to make a house with one villager that one's going to become your scout the other two are going to make a granary at the berries and you're going to make four new villages and send those to berries as well so we're going to have um, six on berries and we're going to ha have this one scout trying to find our resources we need to be finding our elephants we need to find our gazelle um, gold wood everything really so we don't have a scout so that's your your job of that villager there um, do be mindful of housing space as well because the houses only take four population uh, instead of five and they actually cost more wood as well than in age of empires 2 so we found the gazelle not found any elephants yet but we're going to get a house down there uh, once you've got six on barriers, so this is number six coming out now, we're going to send three onto straggler trees because, as you can see, everything's so expensive, we've only got 20 wood left. <laughs> so we're not going to be getting any uh, resource drop-off buildings for quite a while for the wood. So we have to uh, take the straggler trees, basically. So you can see we've got the build order on the screen. Uh, this is actually a standard build order for any tool age aggression. So it's going to be the same for all four of the tool age rushes that I'm going to be bringing you. Uh, the only difference is the transition once you've clicked up to uh, the tool age. So once you've found your gazelle, you want to be pushing them forward towards your deer, um, towards your town center, sorry. Um, because once you've got your three on wood, the next lot of villages, pretty much everything until 20 population is going on the hunt so we need to push them in they are a bit tricky to push but they tend not to move once you've moved them uh, so that's good they won't go back to where you, where they're starting off so we're just going to keep popping villages out taking the hunt getting them all killed off around the town center and um, ideally we could have done with them a little bit closer than that just to you know get a bit better efficiency but it is what it is isn't it is what it is but uh again just keep an eye on your housing situation once we've got 120 wood we're going to take these three off of straggler trees send them over to make a storage pit so storage pits uh you can drop off wood gold stone and hunt at those so uh, really important that we can get one down where there's two resources really because they're so expensive uh i don't think i mean meant, meant to do that <laughs> oh well never mind uh, yeah, they're so expensive. We're not going to be able to afford two storage pits for quite a while. So just keep them, uh, you know, find a second resource. Again, it's relying on RNG there and how the map's been generated. But essentially with uh, the Tool Age uh, rush build orders, uh, and it's like this with most Age of Empires 1 builders, actually, build orders, is uh, yeah, do end up with a little bit of idle TC time before you can click up. Because uh, it's more based on timings rather than villager numbers per se. But you should have 20 villagers. Um, that's all we need. And then you idle your TC. And you should then be able to click up if you garrison your food um, villagers. You'll be able to click up around 6 to, to 6 minutes and 30. Uh, so 6, 6 and a half minutes you need to be clicking up. Uh, we should be able to drop off some food fairly soon and be able to click up where are we come on pretty much there there we go so it's 6 13 we've clicked up um once you've done that we're going to send uh four from wood uh food sorry to wood so we're going to end up with seven on wood and um, we're going to send two villagers to go off and do some scout i mean that original scout's just gone off to try and find the enemy early and we found a, uh, a relic that can be used as another scout and um, we sent another one forward as well so uh, we need to find the enemy once you find the enemy we need to be dropping two barracks so 
Um, it's quite hard to find the enemy, I think, in this game because they're not always in, you know, they're not spawning in the same sort of positions as you would ordinarily find them in Age of Empires 2. So, yeah, it can be a little bit tricky to find them. They actually tend to be fairly close to you, um, which is why we're kind of scouting up this area. Um, they tend to be more often than not close to you rather than the other directly opposite side of the map so um we found the enemy we're getting those barracks down we want to make some houses we've just got one probably want to make another one if i'm honest um and the good thing is we've got all these elephants the elephants tend to move a lot i mean that one was way up here um so it can be a bit annoying when you're trying to find your elephants but as soon as you've hit the um tool age all your new villages at this point are going to be going on to food um they may want to put them on farms but you will need a market first before you can do that um get some houses down with these other builders and just generally make your way back towards your um uh, base we can see we've got the infantry armor in we've got the tool uh, tool working which is your attack upgrade and we've got the axman upgrading as well so here we're just going to spam axman from these two uh, you could potentially have made a third one as well, but I think that might be pushing it. Um, third barracks, but uh, as you can see, we've run out of berries now. We've only got that one elephant, and things are starting to get a little bit, uh, a little bit worrying <laughs> in terms of food. Um, so we're going to quickly get a market down because we will want to get some farms. I've just put on a, a note on here is actually move those onto wood, just so that you. Can in case you've not got all these elephants, you'll be able to get your wood in um, to get farms. But thankfully, we've, we've been able to get quite a few elephants. I'm even going to lure these ones in as well. Um, and we're just going to keep on spamming axemen. Not really doing anything with those at the minute. I should have been going into the base a little bit more. But um, yeah, apart from, you know, at this point onwards, it's just get everyone on food. Um, see if we can get this double elephant law I'll show, I'll show you that in a minute but I'm just going to keep spamming these now the counter to axemen is archers um, I think the scouts do okay against them I don't think they're amazing against them but obviously archers are your main counter um, and slingers just aren't very good uh, they don't cause much damage as you can see slingers which is what the enemy is going for slingers counter archers not axemen there you go we've got double double lure coming in so the good thing about this is the actually share line of sight so as long as you can just keep that front one aggroed your other one will follow you as well so we've actually been really really lucky here and didn't need that second storage pit for the wood because we've been able to get all these elephants in at this point just keep on spamming and keep on putting villages on food getting farmers down and uh, that's it so thanks for watching guys we do have a um, subscriber goal of 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year so if you want to help the channel out do consider giving us a little subscribe and liking the video as well and i'll see you on the next one